Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Dom and we're going to talk about unusual options activity. Alright, let's kick it off with the uh, disclaimer. Actually, we're going to save the uh, disclaimer for, uh, for, for, for the end. <laughs> if I could speak, save the disclaimer for the end uh, starting now in all the videos. So, first one I want to bring up is LVS, Las Vegas Sands. Now, this is a pretty interesting one here because if you look at these May 2022 calls here, 62 and a half strike call. There was about 35,000 contracts traded, open interest of about 677. Now, that is pretty interesting because that's a pretty far out of the money call here. I think it's also interesting because Las Vegas Sands just had earnings uh, and they had a pretty bad earnings miss actually. As you can see here, the stock was down uh, about uh, $2.20 today, adding to the losses yesterday when they reported uh, yesterday morning, I think. So now this is an interesting trade here also because they're going out to 2022, giving themselves plenty of time, uh, pretty much a little bit shy of a year. Now I'm not in these calls yet. Honestly, I'm still kind of analyzing this one. I'm not too sure what I want to do here. Now, if you look at the chart here, Las Vegas Sands has pretty much been in a bear market. This thing is almost back to where it was while the pandemic was raging. Now, that is a pretty interesting trade here. You know, usually you want to hop into things, uh, you know, when everybody is selling. But, you know, this thing is just in a serious downtrend here and really does not show any signs of uh, slowing on this downtrend. You know, you can draw this out here and kind of see that the downtrend here uh, is pretty severe and it keeps coming up to that downtrend line and uh, it keeps failing. So I think it's interesting that they're buying these calls. I'm probably going to keep this one on my watch list uh, and you know possibly get into it at a later point. But just want to let you guys know that there was some huge call buying uh, and there were some massive orders there. Uh, so I'm going to keep this. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep an eye out on this one. This one might not be bad to buy the stock and sell some calls against it. Uh, that sounds pretty good right now, actually, uh, just like this thunderstorm. So next one I want to bring up is Nvidia. Now, once again, there has been some rampant call buying in this stock. I own uh, quite a few shares here, so I'm not going to be going out and buying the calls here. But as you can see here, for some of these short-term calls, 87,000 contracts traded uh, pretty much every single day this week. NVIDIA has been hitting, uh, and the stock has been moving higher. It's still off of its highs here. Uh, now, there was some nice call buying, too, in some of these later dated options. But, you know, I ha I've been kind of getting a little more into these uh, really short-term options here, you know, putting in only the money that I'm willing to lose. And if I lose it, I'm all right with that. But, you know, with some of these trades here, you can make a nice day trade out of them. Uh, you can make a nice one, two-day trade, uh, especially with these shorter-term ones. I would not be holding these short-term ones into expiration. Uh, and I'd be pretty wary about doing a trade uh, with only one day to expiry. So, you know, I would put the money that I'm 100% comfortable losing with into the stock. Now, this thing, I think we brought it up actually when it was around its 50-day moving average. I'm trying to remember. I think I did bring it up around this time. Uh, so if, if, if y'all have followed me into this trade here, uh, you know, we have a nice profit. Now, they're still buying calls, which is bullish, kind of like how I talked about with Square yesterday. You know, when I buy options, I look to see if people are still buying calls, if people are rolling up their calls, if they're still buying uh, you know, far out of the money calls, if they're buying short term calls, if they're switching to long, longer term calls. And then I look to see a trend. OK, do they stop buying calls and start buying puts or were they only buying calls before? And now they're still buying calls, but now some people are stepping in and buying puts or are they just outright going from a bunch of calls to a bunch of people, uh, you know, coming in, buying a lot of puts. And I've not seen that with NVIDIA. There's been a little bit of the put action, uh, but way, 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 way more calls. So I'm still bullish on NVIDIA here. Uh, I'm probably going to hold the stock, you know, it, even if it gets to 208, past 208. I'm definitely not selling, you know, when it hits 50-day moving average. If anything, uh, I'm reloading so I can sell more calls uh, against the stock that I own. So thanks for everyone who's been subscribing. I, repeat, I really appreciate it. Make sure to keep the uh, subscribing up. Make sure to share this video with somebody uh, that's trying to learn how to trade. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like my content so I know to keep bringing videos just like this. Let me know in the comments down below if you got any questions, and we'll see you in the next one.